everybody. Welcome to the Science Test Room. Brilliant! Brilliant new update for the Micro Freak. Awesome. Okay, so this is version 4.01 or something like that. It's, it's the latest one. Hi, Vortex. How are you? Hi, Andrew. Hi, Stephen. Hello, Joe. Hi, Ivan. Ivan's here. Kaboom. Um, and anyone else who may be watching you, I've just missed uh, saying hello to uh, Andrew Fox. Hi, Andrew. Um, Vulcanized. It's lovely to see you Vulcanized here as well. Awesome stuff. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> At the moment, it's right. You can't see just off off screen here. I've got the drum brute impact supplying some drums, and it's going through the. I'll just switch the this off. This is one of the new wave tables. It's been updated with a wave user engine. Now we always had the wave table engine, but now it's got another brand new engine where you can import your own wave tables. Now I will show you how to do that as well piece of cake there are tons and tons of free wavetables on the internet that you can use i've put a link in the description below from earth soundworks uh, where you can go and download 500 megabytes of them and they're tiny so you get lots and lots of over 400 of them in all sorts of different categories and stuff like this however right at the moment let's go to an initial patch here I've been record. I've been making. I've I took everything off and then loaded in. It comes with sixty four new presets. So the new presets in here. This is one of them. Not the drums, of course, but. Now I will say that I've got it going through the Boss Me eighty to supply some effects. So if I let me just turn off the delay and there, so. And I'll switch that off. So you're not hearing the effect. So it holds 384 patches, actually, I think. Yeah, so it's cool. Anyway, brilliant. So, Bell Wave. I'm going to... Let me just turn this down. Let me just... Let, actually, I'll just... For now... I'll just set that back to... This is one of the ones I programmed today. And then I made this one, which is a, a basic vocoder patch, which sounds uh, really, really great with reverb. Of course, that's not using the wavetable engine. I was just having a mess with some of the new sounds. Oh, yeah. Awesome stuff. And then I got this one going as well. And this is with the new wave table. And then let's see, I created this one. Of course, these come alive when you put a bit of um, delay and reverb on them. And that was using one of the other updates from a few times ago, the unison mode. Which is awesome stuff. Anyway. And then... So here we have an initial attach. So... Let's, let's switch the... I'll leave a bit of reverb on so it's not sounding too dry. So if we go into our wave, our type now, you'll see it'll start with basic waves here. I don't know if you can see, but it starts with basic waves and then we've got super wave, wave table. Now wave tables has always been there. <laughs> These 16 wavetables uh, have always been there in the wavetable synth part of the air engine. So let's carry on with type and then we have uh, harm, harmonics, coupler, strong engine, actual analog wave shaper, two operator FM, four man synth, chords, speech, uh, uh, modal, um, noise, which is lovely, bass, so X, horn, 
which is harm, harm, on, harm or whatever. And then, like just before the vocoder, just before the vocoder, just before the vocoder is the wave user engine. And we have the ability to load 16 of our own uh, wavetables. Now it does come with 16 wavetables that they've supplied for you. And these are them. Pick a wavetable you like and then say, say wavetable number four, for example, and then we can use the timbre control to scroll through the wave. Now, on the third section, now the shape section here, on the U wave user engine, this is like a bit crusher, whereas on the wavetable engine, it's a chorus. So lots of uh, sonic possibilities there. Now, there are a couple of other uh, updates, right? One or two. Um, chord mode. Now, chord mode, let's put switch paraphonic on. In chord mode, now, when you hold a uh, paraphonic and go, and then, you can play your chords. You can now record those chords uh, in a sequence, uh, in, in, in the sequencer, uh, which is another reason I like to use the um, a drum machine or some sort of, um, or some sort of rhythm, but, you can now record those chords as a sequence and press it again and it'll go away. So let's maybe go with... Uh... If we were to record that now as a sequence, uh, which we can do, I suppose, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I will record that as a sequence, but I'm gonna switch my drum machine back on. And this is a, a another good point to show you with recording. If you record with a drum machine, now the initialized setting in this is gonna be one bar, sixteen beats. So that's fine. We'll leave it at one bar for now. But if you wanted to change the length of the sequence up to sixty-four beats, so basically four bars then you can so all we need to do now is make sure that we hold shift and press sequence so it's a blue light instead of a, a shift instead of an arpeggiator which is a red a, a white light and what we will do is switch on our i'm gonna just make sure my drum machine is armed and it's It'll it they'll be synced. My uh, drum brute impact is is synced with this. It's it's clocked actually. I haven't used the MIDI. I've just clocked it. It's real quick. You know, just plug clock clock out, clock in, done deal. Now if, when I start this, we've got remember we've got one bar, and I'm gonna press four one two three four one two three four. So now we've recorded our chords in with our sequence, which is awesome stuff. Let's, let's record some motion. So arm record. Let's apply some, um, let's make the, um, uh, let's maybe the LFO, let's, yeah, let's do the LFO. Let's make the LFO control the type. So there is no type uh, as a destination here, but we can use the assign controls. So I'll, I'll hold assign here and I'll select type as the, uh, destination and I will use my let me see envelope mm, there and give it some amount <laughs> and 
Actually, I, I'll use my LFO, not my envelope. I'll use my M, M, uh, LFO as well. So. so. <laughs> anyway that's just a just the thing so we don't want to keep that anyway what i want to do is that's all i wanted to show you that you can now record your chords in with your sequencing so thing here it is we've got our new wavetable type of engine so let's go to our end there these are the factory ones i'm going to show you now in a very rough way <laughs> um, what's this uh, have I missed anything right okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera off and I'm going to show you well actually maybe we can just adjust this with the, the thing so hang on a minute let me get back to the thing because I want to show you how you can import your own uh, wavetables as well um, so let me just see if i can oh look at that okay so it's let me just see if i can drag that around a bit okay all right awesome stuff so you can see the screen awesome so you can uh, we're getting like kind of uh what's it called now in it um inception right that my 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 um, my micro freak is connected to the computer via usb cable and i i have the midi control center artori's midi control center is open and it's recognizing the micro freak and you can see here here's our preset and i have actually these loaded in and we've been playing with some of the ones near the end here um but these are these are actually presets if i wanted to drag a whole bunch of these presets in all i'd need to do is just uh use control and just drag them over and i'd have a new preset in slot number there but we're going to be looking at this new section that's been added in the latest firmware update for the midi control center and it's the wavetable section and it's very cool so you'll see that i have already imported a load these are the factory ones that it comes with and these are the ones we are listening to now you'll see that they are there these are what's on the micro freak okay um so we have for instance i'm scrolling through the 16 wavetables that you can now have and that's going through these here so from 1 to 16 you can see that they're, they're numbered when you can see on the micro freak they're numbered I've got some one here called Instruments, which is from, like I said, Echo Soundworks Instruments, all from Echo Soundworks. There's tons and tons of this stuff. That's an empty one, one shot, and then there's vocals. Now I can copy over the whole thing if I want to. So I, let's just say, like, let's let's just send to Microfreak. So what this is going to do now is just send all of these vocal ones into the micro freak and it'll change all the sounds we've just heard you see well bearing in mind it will also change the new user preset sounds as well so you might get some interesting results doing it like that but before we go back to the synth i want to show you like so remember now we've got new sounds <laughs> That's really, really nice, actually. Let's put your paraponic on. Really, really lovely. Now, if we wanted to import more, right, that's just a, a thing. I'm gonna make, like, new bank. And I'm gonna call this bank dog video. Okay, and I'm gonna press enter. Okay, so there is Doug video, and we can see it's empty. If we want to import, here's the thing: import. Now you don't want to be replaced. You this is this is the um, Artorias format, the first one, the MFW uh, WZ. You can just what's cool about this is you know wavetables have to be quite specific. You know what I mean? There's, there's quite a thing. However, you can just import any wave file you like. For instance, uh, you could go to desktop and say, oh, what, what, what's going in on in here? 
say pick something from there go like this here maybe pick this one and, and open it uh, okay and what it's done it's converted this thing which it, you see how complicated this is because it's quite a long it's a long file okay this is for, for one of for music mo, mobile music pro for vortex oh. however what it's done is the midi control center has done some clever stuff and converted it into a file it can use as a wavetable now it's not going to sound brilliant because it's a huge file and wavetables like like use short ones but what we can do is just replace the first one so let's look at our wave number one so that's wave number one which is there i'm going to just drag this one over and replace it and it'll uh, it'll copy it over and it isn't now I've got that running through there now it's an idea because it's too big we want smaller ones however let's do this okay so let's go okay well let's import uh, more let's go up up and up again and you'll see that it says echo soundworks and this is a link to this this is free here are all the ones that you get with echo soundworks so you could go right okay so let's look in analog and you'll see there's loads in analog and there's loads of like stuff let's open this out so you can see what's going on you'll see the stuff like from moog and profits and things like this now we could select now let's select another 15 of these maybe just to make this quick you can also by the way uh drag and drop so you can just go like that and drag it in and it will should theoretically have copied that in not sure why it hasn't hmm that's weird because that's how we did oh hang on a minute maybe it was when i did import uh, no if i just open it up like this echo sound works and i do that and then look, well, look at basics loads in basics i think i can just yeah you can just drag and drop them so i'll just drag and drop a load of these in um into this another maybe 13 of them it won't let me import more anyway but so let's just do this i'll do that do it this way and i'll just drag drag all of them over and drop them in there we go warning impossible to form transfer source destination okay that's fine it's done most of them but i'd run out of space so there you go so now what we can do is we could just drop all the, this whole lot over we'll send all of them over to the micro freak and if there's a fault or anything it will tell us over here but this is how you do it it's that easy just literally drag and drop or import the correct thing and the cool thing is if you import like a wave file it will just import it, it will fix it for you so you can actually use it if you want to <coughs> much better to use proper ones though because they sound better so hopefully now there we go we've got these ones nice sounds anyway that's how you do that let's get back to this now i'm gonna say wait with us two sex guys and i'll just fix this for you okay hopefully that looks okay so yeah so that's how you do it that's how you import Now there is another thing as well, another uh, uh, update that they've. Uh, let's see, just see what's going on.
Right, so. Um, where am I? Yeah, I just wanted to tell you about the other things. Remember in, in right, uh, in version, in the uh, the original versions before this, scrolling a type on a on a thing. So say for instance, let's go to one of these, say Saw X. When you used to scroll like this, it, it would be quite, the people, some of these would take quite a long time. Anyway, they've changed this now. You can now have it scroll really quick like this, which is really handy for people because you can still go slow, but you can go really quick as well. So the faster, faster oscillator scrolling is a really handy one to have. And you can have it either or. Pressing shift will just reverse the polarity of whichever version you have set. So if you leave it on slow, if you hold shift, it'll run fast. If you leave it on fast, if you hold shift, it'll run slow. If you just want it on fast, just leave it on fast. I much prefer it to be fast. No, no more just trying to get to where you want to be. So anyway, back to an initial... I'm going to go to our wave user. I'm going to put some delay on that. So, let's make a pad patch. Let's first of all make it paraphonic. Awesome. Let's start making some some fun stuff. Get a bit of glide. Yeah, serum tables work great. There's loads of them knocking around as well. Tons and tons. There's tons and tons of these um, wave tables that you can get from the internet for free. And this is fantastic. You can only load 60, 16 at, at a time. So blobs of 16. But you can have, as you saw, you can have many, many, many libraries stuck on the computer for you to just drag across. And you see, it works very, very fast. Let's start with that. You can put a long wave table, but the wave tables have a set thing, Sam, didn't they? For the micro freak, there's a there's a thing. There's a formula. <laughs> right. Anyway, we're gonna add some pitch modulation, but we'll we'll use the cycle envelope because it's really nice. I'm going to use it on envelope to start with and see what happens. And I'm going to, ah, it's the first one there. So I'm just going to enter this and. I'm going to put it on to looping. So you're getting a very light, warbling, wimbly, like... 
unstableness. Not so much of the amount though. Unless you want to go nuts. I think I'll, I, I will also attach the cutoff to the normal envelope as well. Since we're making a pad, that might work quite well. So as the envelope opens, it opens up the cutoff. Um, I can give that... I can, If you if you change out what will happen is if you change out the wavetables it will change every single patch that uses a user wavetable. That's inevitable because you're changing the basic structure of the oscillator, aren't you? By completely swapping out the wavetable sort of thing. But you can get some interesting results. So I've got this one. I'm gonna take off the this one because I don't I don't like it. In fact, I'm just gonna um, just clear that one out. But and now I shall set up my uh, sequencer in here for. I'm gonna go into utilities. Go into. Set and go down to sequencer length here and set it to 64, which is the maximum, which is four bars. We can exit that now. I'm going to switch, switch sequencer on and then um, make sure that I can uh, use the clock for the drums and then I will start to. Um, record something in I'm in real time recording now so anytime I can jump in really
record some of this with the motion sequencing lanes we have four Record and start recording some of the cut off in. save it now i'm going to name it so um it's well it, it's a sequence isn't it so we'll put it in sequence and then i'm just going to uh, go what, what can i what's uh, give me a very short name quickly i'll just call it um um i'll call it drift 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 God, I'm doing this one eye closed here. Hang on. Drift. Drift. There we go. And it's in sequence. And we'll just hit save. Preset saved. And now if I go back to my initial here. And then. Oh, great. Very nice. This is a good example of showing you what happens when you now swap out all the wavetables again. Now, <clears throat> I won't bother taking it off the camera and everything. What I'll do is I'll just go to the MIDI control center on the, on the, on the, on the top here and I will swap out. So I have to open it up again. I'll swap out these waves that we've put in, the custom ones. Just make sure I'll switch the... Um, drums off a minute so it's just connect it's just checking the connection between the device now so i just need to wait a couple of seconds while it does that and then what we'll do is also i will swap out all of the wavetables so remembering the sound we have now is a wavetable number four isn't it is it hang on was number four so I'm gonna stop this and I know you can't see what I'm doing now but I'm gonna swap all these waves back out now to the uh, original factory preset waves that come with the micro freak now I know that at any time I can just swap them back out again and it'll sound exactly the same but the point is you might be wondering if you've built patches and they sound completely different so this is using wave number four and it's going to be 
the as, as soon as we come off this and come back onto this patch it's going to be the waves that are now being loaded back in and, and they're right they've been loaded back in now so the waves that are in there now are the factory ones okay so if i come out of this patch and go back into it our sequence is going to sound different i mean all our motion sequence and stuff is going to be the same but so if i go now wait there we go so here is our new one If you're watching please strike the like <laughs> thank you very much that would be very nice of you guys or consider a super chat or a super sticker that's always appreciated and very helpful so that that's lovely but you've now changed all of the all of the wave time. and before we finish this evening what we'll do is we'll run through lo quite we'll listen to some of the new presets that, that, that have been supplied with version 4 because I took everything off and then put in a new preset I also made a, a nice new one for the vocoder so if I go back here somewhere where it says basic vocoder basic vocoder going through all the effects I like I, I really really like the vocoder on this I think it's lovely I think the temptation is to go nuts with loads of modulation, but there's no no kind of extra modulation going on here. It's just basically this vocoder patch, which really sounds very nice. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hello. So I'm gonna go back to quickly go back to the patch that I had, which is called Drift. We know it's an arpeggiated sequence with some. Um, modulation i'm going to reset the i'm resetting the settings on the drum brute impact clock because i've got clock out going to clock in on the impact i don't know if you can see but just changing the clock setting to clock so it's recognizing the clock from the and what will happen is if i change the the time the tempo on the what happens is when it when this starts off it'll catch up watch right. let me st let me have it to go to start Here you go see watch You need it you see you need it for um you need this clock you need something to clock for real-time recording because it doesn't have a metronome <coughs> i really just would like to cover this just one more time so we've gone back to i guess it's what 120 120 yeah 120 bpm uh we're sending clock out so as soon as I switch on the sequencer, there's nothing in this sequence. But the point, and it will only be, and we can check, it will be uh, for it will be 16 one bar yet. Yeah, so we could set it for two bars, I guess. 32. <coughs> we need a count because otherwise we're flying in the dark. Because as soon as we hit go if we don't have a clocked drum machine or some sort of metronome or some sort of drum machine giving us a giving us a beat we don't know where really where we're going so we're going to be like this so so it, it's lo loads easier with a i'm going to set this to paraphonic as well it's loads easier with a drum machine if you've got any kind of drum machine just set it at the tempo you want 
set your micro freak the re freak at the tempo or if you possibly can clock them up or midi them up so that you, they're both locked together following the tempo and then we we know that we're going to record over over two bars so let's go we've got one two three Delete this sequence. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna delete that sequence because I played it over four bars instead of two. So, and that, yeah, yeah. Well, this is true. Well, I, yeah, you can. There is. This is a, another way to do it. But you can use another cool way to do this if you want. If you don't want to use a drum machine, it's just easier with a drum machine. You know what I mean? If you don't want to do this, switch the arpeggiator on. That's right. So. Do this right. Hold shift, and then. Send the arpeggiator. I'm going to set this to a different. To 1 8. Hold shift and send it to a sequencer lane. That's a sequencer now. So now what we can do is this. We're in paraphonic. It's cool beans. Let's hit record. Like that if you want to as well using the arpeggiator so that's that's just another cool way of doing it but let's let's have let's listen to some of these new presets that they've stuck in so these are all these are all the brand new presets they've put in not all of it thanks thanks volker i i learn a lot from watching your videos mate anyway so you know i got that's actually that's a volker nice tip using the arpeggiator to make your sequences that's definitely from volker that is um however let's listen to some of these new presets for a few minutes now not all of these right not all of these are wavetables some of them are some of them are we can check this is like so this is the wave a wave user patch Don't forget, guys, I have got some effects on. That's another effect. But you've got to have effects with it because it's a dry synth. There's no, there are no built-in effects. That's a really nice sound. So I'll have to listen to another one, shall we? said this it's nice what will happen is if we if we hit upon a sequence our drum brute should kick in Like I said, we can always find out what's going on. We can, if we touch the shape knob slightly, we can see that this is a super wave patch. So 
so many engines in here now, it's, it's brilliant. Here's a sequence. Awesome stuff. Sam, have you got, I, do you know what? I missed out twice on that Loopy Pro, um, Loopy Pro beta thing. So I'm, I'm just, I'm, I've basically resigned myself to just buying it when it comes out. So, or asking Mike, oh, I might just buy it. That's pretty, I like that. How nice is that, eh? This is a FM. Nice, nice new patch. I've got a feeling this might be a wave one, yeah. So it's quite interesting to keep swapping out wavetables um, and changing up, the, completely changing up the patches. But of course, having a look at what's going on in the matrix and going, oh, well, what can we do with that, you know? So there's another user wave on. Don't forget that the it's a bit crusher. Whatever. And on the actual engine version, the the the, the wave is a, it's a chorus. One sec. to a new, new, completely new engine. Some of these sound, some of these, I'm going to just kind of put the terror, terror echo on this because this will sound really cool. Nice to have a bit of delay in it. Bit of delay and a bit of bit of bit of reverb. Oh this is this is a really nice sound this. And this is again using the new waves. Oh thanks Paul, bless you. Thank you so much. Really? Oh, this is a good sound. I wonder if this is the four man tension here. Is that a sign too? VCO pound to three. Oh, 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 
just finished watching series two of lock and key good god that was just so cool that's a really that is a that's a fab sound that is Can it make fart sounds though? Too right it can. Listen to this. I might be cheating. Yeah, that's all we need, isn't it? We only we only need all we need the synth for is fart sounds, that's it. Makes Jacob very happy. of them have used the new the new engine Indeed, wavetable synthesis. I am the best. I'm sure you are. Uh, it is wavetable synthesis. It, there are many different synth engines inside the Micro Freak. Many different synth engines now. We've got everything in here now. But yeah. an FM engine in here and a couple of subtractive engines as well so the whole thing basically works like a subtractive synth it's it's digital uh, and with analog filtering so it's it's very nice it's very it's been out for ages now any some of these bases are wicked Let's see what we've got Let's switch the R one. Mm -hmm. 
Table 13 in the user set. guys bless you all thank you very much for joining me this evening where we took a look at the brand new update version 4 uh update for the micro freak which gives us another brand new uh oscillator which is the user wave oscillator which allows us to import our own uh wave tables which i showed you how to do it earlier although in a rough way but you know what i mean <laughs> you get the idea 64 new presets to play with as well Loads of, lots of nice cool sequences and stuff. Anyway, digital or die exactly. Um, I think it's really, really great. Thanks, guys. Listen, I'll let you say to to each other for a few minutes, and I will see you all hopefully tomorrow with some of the cool stuff. Ta -ta. Thanks very much, everybody, for joining me, and thank you for the super chat ball as well. Very much appreciated, mate. Seriously, there's still time to super chat me in, guys. Super sticking me in. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Ta -da.